Hi, beautiful beings. My name's Brittany. Let me make sure the microphone's on. Hi beautiful beings, my name is Brittany and I'm Connor and today we're going to be talking about some powerful ways that we are starting our days. Yes, and you may have heard this before that the morning is really the best time to start your day. I mean it creates foundation for your day, it creates momentum for your day and I think I heard recently someone say, you know, what you create in the morning is what you are creating for the rest of your day. I, love that. I guess that's basically what I just said. But. Well, <laughs> way to reinforce important things. Yeah. And so, what I'm trying to say is... <laughs> the way you start your day matters. <laughs> so we're going to talk about three things that we do every day. I mean, these are definitely things that we do in our most ideal day. And if we miss one or something, you know, it's like, it's totally okay. But I think to have the idea of like, we know that this is what works, and so when we wake up, we really try and get these three things in. The most important way for me to start my day is with gratitude. So as soon as I wake up, the first thoughts in my head, at this point I'm so accustomed to it, are thoughts of gratitude. Just gratitude for everything. Oh, the sound of the birds. Oh, the feel of Ilya, like the smell of your breath. The feel of the covers, being cozy in bed, a brand new beginning so many things just like immediately to feel gratitude for and it really doesn't matter what it is harry potter is up there in my list <laughs> sometimes it's water slides it's just anything that ignites that feeling of gratitude and love within my heart and to really start my day with that momentum yeah there's always so much to appreciate and of course there's always so much that we can focus on that feels hard and that feels challenging there is a good time to look at that stuff in a helpful and productive way and the yeah. morning is not the time to do that yeah. the morning is the time to wake up and feel that gratitude and if you can access that first thing in the morning you're going to have that feeling with you for the rest of the day and you can do that individually or you can do that with someone you love yeah you can say it inside your head you can say it out loud you can grab a pen and paper write it down gratitude like gratitude. three minutes super powerful massive okay number two connor you've been rocking this thank you yes it's my yoga my morning yoga to yogas <clears throat> to yogas Get and to yogas you know for me yoga is about getting into my body but it's also about quieting my mind and bringing peace and harmony into my whole system yes. so there's a lot of different ways that you can do the same thing without necessarily doing yoga yoga and meditation pretty similar practices for me i like to do yoga first follow it up with meditation yes but you could totally do it any way you want anything that's going to bring you into a more centered aligned mindful present state rock on for sure and i think that element of getting into our bodies mm, is so essential in the morning wake up our bodies we're waking yeah. up our being and infusing it with that love yeah maybe it's a quick run around the neighborhood I love five that. minutes Maybe it's a walk in nature. Totally. The third one. This in is a fun one. This is a fun mm -hmm. one. There's so many ways to play around with it. Infusing our brain waves with exciting, empowering, loving, good feeling thoughts. Yes, motivation, even even productivity, you know, from, a, from the right place can feel so good. Yes. And uh, what I've been really enjoying in the morning is just getting on YouTube and typing in motivational something. Is this how you type? Yeah, I do. Well, in the morning. On your phone? <laughs> on my phone, yeah. It takes a while, but eventually That's part of the I'll mindfulness practice of the gentle morning. <laughs> yeah, and just listening to like whatever comes up, and there's a lot of different people I really enjoy. I really enjoy Tony Robbins. I really enjoy Les Brown. Actually, I think Les Brown's my favorite right now. We listened to him last night. But, it was really you know, I really like Abraham Hicks. Some Teal Swan feels very motivational. Not all of it, but I really like Teal one mm -hmm. there's a lot of different people and if none of those people resonate with you then don't worry about it don't even let's forget about that what I just said <laughs> find your people that are exciting for you and get on it because I think you know what we're at what we're doing is we're just utilizing the tools of the universe there's so yes. many people that have already offered us some awesome motivation for the morning mm -hmm. and we can just tap into it and ignite our own momentum off of theirs that's a fantastic way to get started it really is I tend to start my mornings with a bath with Ilya after we do our gratitudes, wake up, cuddle, we jump in the bath and I like to jump in the bath first with like a gentle 
morning person, so sometimes it's like some Louise Hay, then we go into some Abraham Hicks. I like to look up the rampages with music, <laughs> get a nice song in the background. We rampage for a while. Some of them we've memorized. Ilya and I like uh -huh. wrap them out together. Nice. And then we usually get into some Tony Robbins or something like more like, okay, we got our nice love filled thing going. <laughs> and then sometimes we put in like a really boss song yeah. just on repeat. I just put it in my ears over and over. Mm, that's a good one too. Yeah. yeah. Music can be so good. Yeah. Um, and I want to say that, you know, for a long time, I really was like resisting taking in other people's perspective yeah. because it was really important for me to build my own. Yes. And so now I feel like I've really, I really know who I am. I really know where I am. I really know my perspective that yes. works for me. I'm open to it changing and building, but like I have a pretty good sense of who I am. And so to bring these other voices in right now, it just enhances my own peace, my own perspective, my own clarity. And yes. it brings more peace to, to my system. I love this. Another way to play around with using our own voices that I've really been enjoying is recording messages to myself. So I'll be walking in the woods, I'm recording an audio, like I would to Connor, just sharing a lot of love for mm -hmm. him, a lot of appreciation. I'm sharing that with myself. Or maybe I'm sharing gratitudes about my life. And then later on, before I go to bed or maybe in the morning, I listen to it. And it's so powerful. So powerful. And you know, I know we all kind of have in our mind because it's part of our culture, like, where am I going to get the time to do this? I've got so many things going yeah. on. You just make the time. Yeah. And even if it's just five minutes, it's so, I, I, it, it. it's so worth it. And I think that you'll notice that your desire to build that will just be natural and you'll just make the time. It'll just create itself because it will add potency to the rest of your day and you will be able to get more done with a smile on your face in less amount of time. And it's not about that, but I think that, you know, productivity in our culture is pretty like high up there in our needs yeah. and that's okay. And um, I think prioritizing how you're going to feel for the rest of the day in the morning is a very productive thing to do for yourself. There's this beautiful truth in our universe, which is so reflective. And it's that I think we're often part of the way we work is to think like, I want that thing. I want that productivity. Mm. I want that, that end result. And what I think we really want is the feeling of how those things we imagine are going to feel for us. Yeah. And the beautiful thing is if we start with cultivating that feeling, we get all those things. And it's almost like, yeah, of course we're getting them, it's but it, it doesn't matter because we're already feeling that and we already know they're coming our way. Well said. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Love you. Yeah, love you. Mwah. Oh, and if you have some favorite morning ways to start your day that you want to share with us, we would, would love, love to hear to. about it. Love to. That's the comments. If this was impactful, you want to share it, <laughs> you want to spread do this that. morning love, you can do that. Share it. Bye.